Well, we just got back from the Cabela's tournament in Gallipolis, Ohio, and some of you may have heard that I caught the new West Virginia state record. But before I show you the video, I'd like to take a minute to explain a few things. First thing, the fish was caught in an awesome piece of water that borders West Virginia and Ohio. I fished this stretch of river before, and I can honestly say that West Virginia is doing an excellent job maintaining and protecting and monitoring the blue cats. Uh, the average the average blue cat up there that I've been catching is around 20 pounds. And I feel like in the near future, this stretch of river is gonna hold some real trophy class blue cats. I've been so impressed with this piece of water, I've published a few articles on how West Virginia is monitoring, maintaining, and protecting their trophy cats. I think uh, all bordering states of the Ohio River should, should follow suit and take the same action in protecting the large catfish of the Ohio River. Well here, take a look at the video. This is not the biggest fish I've ever caught, but this is by far the most exciting fish I've ever caught. Uh, in my mind, it's like winning the lottery. Landing the fish that trumps the, the current state record by 30 pounds is an awesome feeling. The fish goes from 40 to 50, to 50 to 60, to 70, 80. I didn't know what to think. But there's a twist to the story and I'll say more after you see the footage. Here he comes. This acts like a blue. I guess we know where we're going to fish this, sir. I hate soil at these damn things. Had to find out over here. He's going up the river. This might be a flathead, but I tell you, he's wild. Oh man, this is a, I think this is gonna be the state record blue cat. Right here. Yeah, it's gonna be the state record blue cat. I didn't think it was a flat here. I bet you I think it's only 29 pounds. I think this one here is gonna go 40 50. Did so. Oh, I'd like to have him in that tournament. Oh, look at that. We just caught, we just caught the state record. Blue cat. Ooh, don't get excited, Steve. Don't get excited. I don't really don't get excited. Oh, why couldn't we catch us through that tournament? It's all right, I'll take this take right here. Wait a second. This is what it's all about. I can't do nothing with it. No mustache, huh? You're doing the job, too.
Come on, baby. Don't break loose, though. While I'm at it, hang on with Catfish Rye. Mean Gang Reel. Renegade Tackle. And must add hooks. Oh, I can't get him in there. Woo! He's mine. He's mine. Whew. That must add hook nailed him. Shoot, I'm out of breath. This fish worked me to death. Woo! That's gonna beat the hell out of 29 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever it is. Trying to pick his ass up. You know, this fish might be 70 pounds. If he going in live well, we're gonna have to call somebody. Oh lordy. So when I landed this fish, I started calling anybody I could think of that that could help me find the number to the DNR so I could possibly get this thing recorded. And I called a good friend of mine, Doc Lang, which incidentally his wife, Lynn Lang, holds the current West Virginia state record. I believe it's like 29 pounds and some change. Doc called me back and he said they were on their way. So I headed to the ramp. I wanted to get this fish back in the water as soon as possible. So when the biologist arrived, I was really relieved but this is where the twist start and my bubble got busted. So as it was explained to me by the biologist, a non-resident with an Ohio state fishing license cannot fish the Ohio River, thus making my huge blue cat null and void for the state record of West Virginia. Just, just have fun. Ain't that something? I was told it'd be either one. No, nope. uh, it's not. If you're a Kentucky resident, you have to have a West Virginia fishing license to fish the Ohio River. Unless you're fishing from the Ohio bank. So what's that mean? It's no void. It means you've been illegally fishing. And I don't write tickets, so is he the, serious? The record is non void. Is he? Are you serious? I would not lie to you. Sir. Not about West Virginia, but they say well, Ohio. If you got a tournament coming do up, you you have a, buy them. do you yes. have an Ohio license? Yeah, it's Ohio right here. Well, that's fine. No, the reciprocal agreement is only for residents. I see nobody told us none of that. That's out of my question for your license. Yeah. You got a copy of the fishing rig? We've had these discussions several times at, at a lot of tournaments that have bordering waters, but I guess everybody just assumed that the same law applied for the Ohio River up and down. Each state had a different license, but the Ohio River was neutral. Yeah, I think uh, the general consensus of the Ohio River, it's neutral. Have either state license and you're good, but that's not true. And with that being said, myself and many others who travel around fishing these tournaments were under the assumption that if you had either state's license, you could fish the Ohio River. Just like Kentucky and Indiana or Kentucky and Illinois, the Ohio River is kind of neutral. If you want to go up into the tributaries of, of, say, Indiana or Kentucky, you have to have that state's license. But since the tournament was going out of Gallipolis, Ohio, I wanted to be legal, didn't want to break any laws, so I bought an Ohio fishing license since I was going to bring my fish out of the Ohio River up onto Ohio Bank. And trust me, I'm not the only guy that, that was there the other night that had an Ohio license that was from out of state that went and bought a West Virginia license after they heard what happened to me. So as a kind of a voluntary community service 
thing for the misunderstanding with West Virginia. I thought I'd shoot this little video uh, to help promote the state and the great things they're doing with their fisheries and share a lesson learned so other anglers are clear on the fishing regulations with West Virginia so they don't mess up their chance at a state record blue catfish. Well, he's still out there, guys. Go get your West Virginia fishing license. Hit up the Ohio River. Get busy.